you a program no one can understand. Oh. Hey, Bard. Mm hmm What wonder of the cooking world do you have for us today? Oh. You actually want to know? Certainly. I've just finished taking a cooking class. By now, I'm virtually a connoisseur. Matthew, what's a connoisseur? A connoisseur is a person who knows everything about food. Ah, uh, Matthew, you are going to love this. This is a special treat for connoisseurs. It's my vintage 1968 Barfy special. Oh, that was a good year. Yeah, more skunks were killed that year than any other year in history. Yeah, that, 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 that's true. And I've been saving the meat ever since. In fact, look, I let it age naturally. Oh, 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 hold it, oh the bucket, the bucket. Oh. Uh, easy, Matthew. All right, attaboy. Uh, most populous city, Matthew. Uh, Mexico City, sir. Uh, very good, that's correct. All right, now class number two, which is the world's highest mountain, Matthew? Uh, Mount Everest, sir. Excellent, that's right. Now class, come on now, which is the world's largest ocean? All right, Matthew. Well, everybody knows it, sir, but it's the Pacific. That's remarkably correct. Doesn't anyone else in this class know the answer to anything? Yes, sir. Dougie. Who's the world's nerdiest know-it-all? Matthew. According to the encyclopedia, me. <laughs> well, you don't have to be a know-it-all to have guessed that today's show is all about know-it-alls. That rather annoying group of people who... Oh. <sighs> we may as well stop. Uh, Ross. What? What? Sir, we let you do the introduction, and you blew it. What's wrong with you? I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I think I have food poisoning. Oh, oh great. Brother. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Hey. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. I know everything there is to know about digestive problems. Now, look. Food poisoning is caused by bacteria, which attack the stomach, and then move to the lower intestines. And sooner Matthew, later... Matthew, you're making me feel even sicker than I am. But, Alistair, this is fascinating. You have to understand the problem before you can deal with it. That's science. Now, I just happen to have an example of infected intestines right here. Aren't they great? Oh. 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 Great, Alistair. You ruined them. Now I'll just have to take them back to Barth's. Oh. I struck out them. Bum, trade him. Actually, Dad, he's playing on AstroTurf and he's not supposed to do that. And he's not a very good batter, so he only had a 5.2% chance of getting the ball. Never mind. Oh, look at that. Ricky Henderson, he caught it. Oh, what a beautiful catch it Dad, the wind was blowing out today, and he was instructed to play deep for a fly ball. So he had an 80% chance of getting the ball. <gasps> Matthew, have you any idea how big boring it is to sit with you watching a ball game, all those dumb statistics. Why don't you bother somebody else? But, Dad, the home team has a 69% greater chance of winning the game when I watch them. Matthew, you have a 1% chance of surviving this game. No, Dad, 1.42% chance. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> yes, what is it? Do you have the know-it-all encyclopedia? The know-it-all encyclopedia. I'll look it up. The know-it-all encyclopedia. Ah, yes. Here it is. Oh. There you are. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how to use it? Ah, uh, yes. It's ego needs to be fed twice a day. All right. Very well. Here it is. Hang on. Remember to return it in two weeks. Don't worry. I couldn't stand it for any longer. Tell me about the armadillo. The armadillo basically lives in Texas. 
Yeah, so? And did you know you're breaking a lot of dungeon regulation rules down here? What? Yeah, these shackles are two feet higher than standard regulation, the oh. ventilation system in here is non-existent, and there is no designated fire escape for the rats. Oh. Say, you know, you really do know a lot about these uh, dungeon uh, regulations. Yeah, I do. You know, there was only one other guy but knew so much about the dungeon regulations. Oh, yeah? Well, who's that? Hodgkins. Yeah. That's why we kept him on, you know, so we could uh, train the new guards. Yeah. Wait a minute. Of course. We need somebody else to look after that. Uh, uh. <laughs> got Sit around. Uh -oh. what? Hey. Speak up. Mom, that's the wrong way to stir. Uh, Vanessa, I've been stirring this way for years, dear. I'll show you how we do it in home economics class. <gasps> oh, Vanessa! I'm sorry. Oh. It's all right, dear. Now, Mom, then, let me see. Just a little butter. And I don't think that's enough. Vanessa, I have been using this much butter in this recipe since my mother taught it to me when I was a girl. Look. Uh, well, sorry. Vanessa, tell you what. Since you know so much about cooking, dear, why don't you make dinner tonight? <laughs> no, Mom. Uh, this no buts. Remember, when your father gets home, he hates to be kept waiting. Hop to it. Oh, good. Oh, okay, Vanessa, another awful. piece of pie. <laughs> don't eat it. Oh, oh Vanessa. Hey, Matthew, yes. it's your turn. You can answer this one. What is the fastest mammal on Earth? Uh, the ostrich. Wrong! <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, it's okay. now. It's Alistair's turn. Okay. What state is the Lone Star State? It's easy. It's... Matthew, I thought you were supposed to be a real know-it-all. You sure have changed. Unless this is just the introduction to the offices. What? And of course, the most important thing to remember is this. You've got to study very hard in school to learn enough to make a living as an adult. Oh, you mean we need to be smart enough to become scientists and engineers? No, Matthew, that's not good enough. Oh, we have to be smart enough to be lawyers and doctors? Lawyers? Doctors? I'm talking really smart to make a living as an adult. Well, how smart do we have to be, sir? Vanessa, you have to be smart enough to make big money as top winner on a TV game show. That's what the big money is! Money for marks! All right, who is going to give me the list price of that microwave oven without going over list price? All right, wait a minute, Dougie, are you going behind door number one or door number two? Matthew Godfrey is sure smart. Oh. He wins everything. No. What kind of project did he have? A pine cone collection. Isn't that a great idea? Why can't I think of that? Right. Isn't it too bad all you could think of was building a thermonuclear fusion reactor? Maybe next year you can come up with something like growing mold on leftovers. Great idea, Mom! Sure. Use this. Oh, that's great, Dougie. All right, Alistair. Why are you in detention today? Well, sir, today in science class, I discovered a cure for cancer. You did? Yes, I also translated Aristotle's poetics from the original Greek, and my English paper won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Why did you do all that? Oh, I know. You're trying to impress me, but it's not going to work, Alistair. There are far more important things than doing well in school. Shopping malls, rock videos, rock music, girls... Sir, I'm, I'm really sorry. I guess I never really thought of it that way. Well, you're going to have to think about it. You see, young man, you are going to hang out at that shopping mall this afternoon reading comic books and listening to rock music. Ah! Oh. Uh. What? Oh. What? 
So, after Sir Thomas Crapper invented the flush toilet, he went on to make a few adjustments, like the holder for the toilet paper and the distillery. Well, back and reality. The, and then down here, there's the raw big grunts and the sewage sweetener. Ready, aim. Wait. What is it this time? Did you know those guns aren't even cocked properly? They aren't? No. And when was the last time you had them oiled? Oh, I couldn't say. And did you know that those are 1886 Winchester Specials? They're very valuable. You seem to know everything about those guns, don't you? Yeah, just about. But there is one thing you don't know about those guns. Oh, what's that? How it feels to be shot by one. I think we can fill you in on that, eh, amigos? Yeah. <laughs> Ready. Aim. Oh, I am starving. Are these berries edible? <laughs> Vanessa, those are gooseberries. Of course they're edible. They're full of protein and vitamin A. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sure glad I got stuck in the forest with an expert like you. <laughs> oh, silly me. Look at that. I should have noticed the deep red coloring. These are obviously deadly nightshade. Highly poisonous. Boy, do I feel dumb. Wonderful, my next trick. <laughs> beautiful flowers Whoa. for a beautiful girl. That's a ah, but That's wait, a wait. What is this? <laughs> Whoa. How he did it all. Uh, can't be just, you know. Now, you see, when, when the smoke went off, he snuck in through the door. <coughs> <and> <coughs> <laughs> 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 Let's That's get on to the show. Come and on. then the flowers he had hidden underneath his feet. No, so no, 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 And then he had the coin just <laughs> put it in his hand. <laughs> 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 Explain that one away, you dirty little know-it-all. You know what? This is a great party now that that creepy Matthew Godfrey is. Iguana. You're right again, Matthew. All right, you win again, Matthew. Guys, this is really getting boring. Oh, come on, I was just getting into it. Ask me another question, please. Okay, one more. Geography. <clears throat> what borders Australia on all sides? On the west, the north, and the south, Australia is bordered by the Indian Ocean, and on the east, it is bordered by the Tasmanian and Coral Seas. Hey, that's pretty good. No, it isn't. The jerk was supposed to say water. <laughs> Who's the jerk? At least I'm still dry. <laughs> Wanna play a little game? Well, that depends what it is. Torture pursuit. <laughs> I ask the questions, and you come up with the answers. Sounds terrific. Oh, it is. Listen, uh, let's try this one. Which is most unpleasant, the rack or the thumbscrew? Um, I would say the thumbscrews. Oh. Thumbscrews, thing. Well, that's very unusual because most people say the rack. Why did you say thumbscrews? Um, I said thumbscrews because every time you said thumbscrews, you spit oh. right in my face. Oh. That's so. Yes, that's so. Oh. Oh. I don't like that man with the scar. Mm. Mom, don't worry. He's an FBI agent. Oh, hey, look, look at this car chase. <laughs> well, Dad, just wait until all the cars crash down the ravine. What? Oh, Dougie. Oh, I hope they're all wearing clean underwear. Of course they're all wearing clean underwear, Mom. Ah, oh, come on, Dougie. You're spoiling all this suspense for us. How come you know so much about this movie anyway? Well, Dad, I've seen it 43 times. 
Hey, look, this guy's about to get killed. I know somebody else who's uh, gonna get killed. No, Dad, that guy at the scar lives. Maybe, but not you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Open up. Vanessa, what are you doing? I'm looking for a question that Matthew can't answer. Well, good luck. You know, he has been batting a thousand all day long. No, I think I know how to shut him up. All we have to do is ask him something that he doesn't know. Yeah. Still looking for a question for me to answer? No, I think I found one. Okay. Fire away. How many tons of food can an elephant eat in one day? An African elephant or an Indian elephant? Well, I don't know. What difference does it make? <laughs> it makes a big difference in who gets slimed. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. This means war. Hmm. You know, Mom, I've been reading this book on sleeping habits. Oh, really, Alistair? Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Okay, did you know that people who sleep on their backs are very confident people? Oh. No. And people who sleep on their sides are very insecure. Oh. Well, isn't that interesting? Mm. Tell me, what would it say about the way your father sleeps? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll look it up. Sleeping with head in fridge. <laughs> uh, people who sleep with their head in fridge are habitual midnight snackers. Listen, Vanessa, if you insist on going for a stroll in the woods, we are going to have to be really careful that we don't walk on any poisonous snakes. Oh, oh don't worry, Christine. This book says there's, there's no danger of walking on any snakes around here. Well, that's good, because I hate snakes. No, the only, the only poisonous snakes around here are tree snakes, and they rain down on their victims from above. That's good. <laughs> Ready, A. Wait, wait! Stop the execution! What is it this time? Did you realize that before you can shoot me, I am entitled to a phone call and prayer with a religious leader of my choice according to Rule 101A of the Geneva Convention? That's only for prisoners of war, stupido. Uh. It's true to how much you know. Hey, amigos! Ready, A. Stop! What? Did you know you're also breaking the nice guy code? The nice guy code? What yeah. stupid thing is that? Look, look, here. Page 71. Oh, yeah. yeah, right there. Uh -huh. yeah. A prisoner cannot be executed during natural disasters like hurricanes, earthquakes, and... What is that? Well, here, come I on over. Yeah, yet. there's better light here. The sun oh. comes right down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Earthquakes, huh? Floods, and fire. <laughs> <laughs> I tricked them into saying fire. got back at that creep, Matthew Godfrey. Well, what'd you do to him, Vanessa? I locked him in his locker. Isn't that a great <laughs> idea? He'll get it. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's that music coming from? It beats me. Right. It's from in there. Matthew has a party going a on party? in there. A yes. party? Matthew, you can come in. Right. Great party. Girls, party. Girls. party. Doug, I think my computer knows too much. What do you mean, Alistair? How can a computer possibly know too much? Well, Doug, I asked it to help me with my homework, and it demanded my lunch money as a bribe. I think you better unplug its chips, Alistair. Well, I threatened to, but it says if I do, the computer in the kitchen will tell my mom about the girly magazines hidden under my mattress. Girly magazines under your mattress? You didn't tell me about that, Alistair! Oh, no, Doug, come on! Holy smoke! Christine, what's that? It's a bear. And what's that? It's somebody walking to the outhouse. What's that, Christine? It's the bear eating the person who was just walking to the outhouse. And that? It's a bear with indigestion. <laughs>
What do you want, kid? Allow me to introduce myself, sir. My name is Matthew Godfrey, and I'm here to offer advice and knowledge door to door. You just ask me a question, and I'll tell you the answer. There is no problem I cannot solve. Do you uh, answer any question? Yes, sir. Um, how much do you charge? Ten dollars. Ten bucks, eh? Okay, here you are. Now, I want to know Thank you, sir. If Perhaps you... I'll call again Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't asked a uh, question yet. Yes, you did. You just asked how much I charged, and I told you. If you want to ask another question, it'll cost you more. What? Just who do you think you are? Matthew Godfrey, sir. Thank you. Wait a minute. All right, Douglas. Why are you in detention today? It's not fair, sir. My teacher put me in detention for knowing too much. Knowing too much? How can that be? What did you know? Well, I know who scared a box of tacks on the teacher's chair. And how did you know that? Um, it was me, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, Douglas. In that case, you'd better know enough to copy out that dictionary in triplicate. So the matter with kids good day. Fix. How many times do I have to tell you I can fix anything? I mean, I can certainly fix that dishwasher. After all, I repaired the lights. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, you got to admit that I did fix the oven. Now, Donald... <laughs> all right, you win. So I'll phone the uh, repairman. <clears throat> well... So, I'll have to drive over to the repair shop. Oh, no! No, Lance, no! Not the Pinto! No, please, not the Pinto! I don't think so. It's not. So, Matthew, yes. have you enjoyed being on the show? Yeah, it's been really interesting. Have you increased the vast sum of your knowledge? Sums? Has he learned anything new? Oh, okay. Well, as a matter of fact, I have been able to uncover some very interesting facts about this program. Oh, spare us. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I want to hear. Well, did you know that the amount of slime used on this program throughout its history could fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool? <laughs> I can believe it. Well, gee, Matthew, I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything you don't know about the show. You're absolutely right. There's nothing I don't know about this program. Are you uh, sure about that, Matthew? Uh, so... You think that's funny, do you? Well, you haven't outsmarted me yet. All I need is a little water to wash up. <laughs> See? No harm done. Now, what else can you do to me? Just this. Can't Do That on Television has been a work of genius production. This is a work of genius. I'd hate to see what they call monumental stupidity. I mean, hmm? Good morning, class. Today, we are going to be studying semi at Wait a minute. Where is Matthew Godfrey? Oh, he's down in the chemistry lab, sir. The chemistry lab? Why? Well, you see, sir, earlier this morning, before you came in, we were talking about bombs and explosives, and Matthew was going on about how he knew how to make dynamite. So, we dared him to do it. You what? I don't believe you. How about that? He really could make dynamite. Yeah, guys, I guess he showed us. Uh -huh. 